Hey there guys, this is FN3 on the Dual Sun Pro Channel and giving you guys a deck talk about this Cyrus Tyne FDK. I hate this I, I hate this for this for the for a much different reason than what everyone else is complaining about. Da um and the thing is it's not Cyrus Tyne, it's danger of Cyrus Tyne FDK. Because Cyrus Tyne isn't the problem. The problem here is dangerous. Dangerous have that, you know, bullshit thing that they can go through the entire deck to get exactly what they want and then go from there. Look at Soul Charge. Soul Charge basically got banned because of dangers. And, I mean, Soul Charge has been a great card, you know, from the beginning up to now. It was always, even at one, it wasn't, <clears throat> it wasn't fully neutered. It was just something that was like, well, you could run Soul Charge, but yet again, you might as well run something else that helps with the archetype specifically, or however. It was always a good placeholder if you needed just to kind of add some extra thing, or... Um, maybe do some extra graveyard recovery or however, maybe more spam, which you could pretty much run in almost any deck. I mean, there's very few decks that, that you would say, no, don't run Soul Charge, that's such a bad idea. I mean, Super Heavies do come to mind, but Cyberstein does not have that luxury. Cyberstein is a very niche card, I mean, it's not part of any archetype or anything. Its typing is okay, uh, you know, uh, you know, the machine typing is, has been better in recent years and its level is pretty decent so um, machine dupe is actually a bit of a thing so that's actually kind of cool but i mean yet again you can only run one cyrus time now if cyrus time was at three i could actually i could i could see the argument where people say oh no this card is too strong when you deal with it or however but when you're dealing with the fact that you're dealing with a non-archetype monster from the early you know early to mid 2000s something that basically came out originally on what was that prize card and now it finally got off the ban list because what are you going to bring out? And of course, people build stuff like this to prove, you know, to Konami or whoever that, oh, we can, I can make it broken, I can make it broken. But it's not Cyberstein that's broken. There's so many steps, there's so many things. And yes, this deck can get through multiple negations. It can get through a lot of bullshit. I am not, I, I'm not trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to bullshit you on how good this deck is. Because this is actually a really, a really good deck and a really awesome one. You know, honestly, if I had the if I had the physical cards to build this, I probably would just to play it at locals. Maybe not in the most competitive thing because I do not like decks like this. I like super consistent decks. I like decks that I can do what I want almost every game. Which of course, there's an argument that of course this deck can you know can do its play every freaking time. But sometimes you have to do a lot of work around and so on and so forth. But yeah, guys, it's not a cyber sign. It is dangerous. Dangerous have their bullshit. Dangerous are gonna be you know, are going to be basically meta-relevant for probably, at best, they'll be gone by, like, April. I mean, and that's really at best. I honestly see Konami probably giving out more support or allowing them to be semi-neutered or semi-hit, you know, throughout this year. Because honestly, I see danger, I see 2019 as the year of danger, of the danger archetype. Because honestly, I see dangers, you know, a lot like how BAs are. You know, BAs, you know, got kind of hit here, kind of hit there, and then eventually no one, you know, Konami just didn't care. And, and Burning Abyss has been meta, I shouldn't really say meta relevant, but they have been relevant to players for years and years and years. I mean, I've been playing, I've been playing this game long enough, and I've been seeing the competitive scene long enough, and I have dipped my toe in top tier meta, you know, enough to basically see what is, what, what is in front of me. What's what's not cut? What's what's cut out? The freaking bullshit of ban cyber star and this and that. This is literally the only deck that can use it, and it's not because of Cyberstein. It's because of dangers. Even if they hit Cyberstein, they're gonna find something else or do whatever or whatever. This. The real question is, how many cards are you gonna let Konami ban because of danger? If you said even one, that's too many. That's ridiculous. Because you're, because you're honestly part of the problem at that point. It's not, it's not this one card bullshit. It is this. Anyways, guys, so like, if you like what you see, please comment, like, subscribe. Let's get a discussion going. If you think I'm full of shit, tell me down below. If you think, if you totally agree with me, back me up. Get down below. I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit for this. Also, down below in the description is a link to the Duel Swing Facebook page. That's the best place for for you guys to interact with me. Uh, but on just decks deck profiles to do for the channel uh give me ideas or however for content for the th for the channel and so on and so forth also i'm, I'm working on doing uh some collaboration videos with aqua duelist uh you know we're 
you know, he's, he's also a small channel, but he's up on the rise. He's getting subscribers at, you know, it seems like every day now. And, uh, yeah, he's a great guy. He makes great content. I will also have a link to his channel down below. So please check it out. And, you know, tell, and tell him I said hi. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.